What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Eagles News Now. I'm professional wrestler Chris Wild, live from Bar 4133, which is now your 2020 election headquarters. Let's go ahead and talk about the matchup. It's Donald Trump and Joe... No. No, absolutely not. If you came here looking for the election, I'm sorry. I've had absolutely enough of all of the politics, all of the fighting between everybody, all of the coverage. I need an escape. And today, I actually found one on accident. Now, earlier this Sunday, the Chicago Bears and the New Orleans Saints had a matchup that was very important to both those teams that the Saints won. Now, during that game, we saw something that was just outrageous. It was something out of professional wrestling, it looked like. When the Chicago Bears wide receiver, Javon Wims, sucker punched cornerback for the New Orleans Saints, Johnny Garner Johnson, and then the hilarity ensued from that. Now look, instead of showing you guys a clip that you've probably seen already, I wanted to share with you guys something that, again, was an escape and just kind of made me forget about everything that's going on today um, for a couple of minutes. I found it highly entertaining as John Boy Media uh, narrated and put this clip together about how the whole fight started and ended. I thought it was absolutely awesome. Find him on Facebook. It's John Boy Media. Again, just a very funny clip um, that brought a smile to my face on a very, very stressful day for all of Americans. So please enjoy the clip. Stay safe out there, guys. Stay healthy. Go, birds. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Punches thrown and mouth guard theft in the Bears Saints game. It's all these two whims and Chauncey Gardner Johnson. This is the first play. Nothing really happens there, but afterwards, Gardner looks at him and says, Sup, dude, I'm going to pull your mouth guard right off your face mask. He says, Do it. I dare you. He says, Okay. Bam. Pulls it. Chucks it. That, that, ref, that ref just stumbling into shot. Didn't see a thing. Just old ref. <laughs> just an old ref. Like, ho, 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 ho. Go mark the ball. <laughs> It's too old, I think. Anyway, mouth guard just on the ground by the huddle. Just chilling. Nice big old orange mouth guard. You see it over there. Boom. There it is. Hanging out. Then the Bears. Here it is. Right behind the QB. Right behind the running back. Chilling on the ground. No one sees it. No one paying attention to it. The Bears are trying to get themselves organized. Figure things out. Almost steps on it. Okay. In motion. He almost steps on it. And then the ref is like, guys, guys, guys. Taking way too long. You've taken far too long. You're wasting our time. Now... Pushes them back right up to the mouth guard. Number 74 has got a line up right in front of it. He sees it. He's like, damn, get this thing out of here. He just chucks it. Goes for a little mouth guard flight way back. Hopefully they don't get pushed back to over there, and then they have to line up in front of it again. That'd be funny. He chucks it. Then they go on to, like, I don't know what they did. They had the punt. There was, inter there was an interception. Changeover down. Blah, blah. The point is, a lot of time passes by. And Wims is on the sideline just get, just waiting. And here he is, finally. This is his next shot on the field with Gardner Johnson. He doesn't have a mouth guard. And he's just been thinking about it nonstop. Play doesn't come to him. He's not involved. Finally, it's over. And now he gets his chance. Hey, bam, bam. <gasps> okay, so at this point, <laughs> at this point, Gardner Johnson's like, what? <laughs> What's up, dude? And he's like, that's right. Uh, I pulled your mouth guard. And then I punched you. So it would have been real cool, in my opinion, if Wims just came up to him and did a little pop with the mouth guard, and that's all. And it was like, eye for an eye. I don't have one. You don't have one. But then, no, so then Wims says Gardner Johnson spit on him here, but there's just not enough time for all of that to transpire before the punch, which isn't even a punch because it's like an open-handed palm to the helmet. And uh, Gardner just takes it and then looks at him. I love that um, Wims... After he throws it, he does this, like, punch runaway. Like the nerdy kid trying to get the courage to go pick on the bully, throws a punch and runs away right away. So he starts to run away, and then he's like, oh, shit, wait, that didn't phase you at all? You don't care about that? I'm going to punch you again. Gardner sees that he's coming at him again, and Gardner's a professional pest, man. I mean, this is what they do. It's an impressive skill. He's like, I'll keep my hands by my side. You can punch me. You'll get suspended. I won't, I won, you lost. See what he does? He sees that he's coming at him again, doesn't defend himself, doesn't do anything, keeps his hands by side, just takes it to the head, just casually turns his head like, okay, dude, do you? You're going to get kicked out. I kind of won. So Wims does that, another palm, and then uh, Jenkins rides him to the ground. Old ref falls down to a knee. He's just, <laughs> oh, my God, I didn't even notice this ref. That's kind of sad. Just kind of falls to the knee and then kind of like, grabs 22 and rides him for a little bit. That's all sad. Anyway, Wims, he gets tackled to the ground by Jenkins. They fool around for a while. Then Wims stands up, and he starts clapping like he proved something. He's like, yeah, 
And he starts flexing a little bit. And his own teammates, number 74, is like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here. I want to touch your nasty mouth guard again. Leave. His own teammates, the Bears, are like, dude, leave. Like, you just embarrassed yourself and everyone. So Wims gets told to leave. He's like, you can't come back. We don't want you anymore. He gives his gloves to a lucky fan, and then that's the end of that. Eagle Nation to stand.